have a problem with uh, a tent trailer, cracked corner caps. Today we're going to show you how to fix them. This is a Flagstaff tent trailer by Forest River, but the process will work for most tent trailers. Okay, the first thing you want to do is make sure that your replacement is going to work. Now this one lines up perfectly. <coughs> Yeah, first thing is take the screws out. Now a lot of times I think what happens is people screw these screws in too tight and that's where you go down the road and the trailer flexes it all, it's going to crack these corners. So when putting them back in, you don't want to over tighten them, just snug. have your screws out, keep those, we're going to reuse those. Now the best thing to do would be to get a heat gun and heat this up with a heat gun, but uh, my heat gun just gave up on me the other day so I'm going to do it with a torch, but if you do it with a torch be very careful not to burn or to burn yourself and just keep the flame way away just to heat this up around here. It'll make it getting it off a lot easier. I hate the plastic so much, just the die core. This stuff right here, it hardens like rock over, over time. Just ever so slightly. You don't want to get it too hot, just keep the flame away. And just warm it up. Like I say, the ideal would be to use a heat gun. A hair dryer might work, but I don't know if you get it hot enough. And then this just slides out of here like that. I just want to clean up all this. Thank you. 
Okay, so what you want to do is get as clean as you can all around here, get all that gunk off there, try not to scratch the side and get it all off. Now, this is the reason you want to um, fix these, as you can see, like they, they crack the corner caps. Now, if you don't fix them, this isn't sealed, but we're going to seal this this time so it does get sealed. But uh, you can notice how if water gets in there, you know, it'll damage it. There's no water in here now on all four corners that I've done. So everything's good, everything's solid. But we're going to fill that in. I, I left this on the bo bottom here a little bit just so that it has structure for this to go on. There's our new cap. We'll just fit right on here like that. Okay, now this here, I've figured, how's this going to work? So what I do is I take it back, I take this out here, the die core, pull all this out, just get a screwdriver under there and just lift this up a little bit so you can get this corner under and then just fit it in enough that these holes match up with the existing holes. Okay. I'm going to force all that other stuff back there a little bit just so you can have enough room to slide that new piece in. And like I was saying, just take a screwdriver, just ever so slightly pry up. Just so you can get an edge in there and then just work it in. Go from this side back and forth a little bit just so you can get that cap in. Okay, and you just want it so that the screw holes will match up here. You don't want any pressure on this if you can help it. So yeah, just like that, like oh, there's hardly any pressure on that now. I'm going a little more. Just like that. Yeah, so the screws will barely hold it, and the, what you want is the actual sealant to be able to hold it in there. Okay, so the, yeah, this is what I did here. You can see how I Pulled the die core back, cleaned it out in here, and then just fit this right in under here. Okay, now this is the the stuff you want to use. It's it's uh, called die core. It's a lap sealant. And it's uh, self-leveling, so you just put it on the roof. It doesn't go on the sides, like down below on the trailer. You want to just put this on the roof where there's going to be major heat. Now, the way this stuff works is you just, just like any other caulking, but you want to you want to put a lot on when you do do it, because it does spread out. But uh, once it seals, it's very strong, very strong stuff. And this stuff here in Canada is nine ninety five. Okay, so I have that lap sealant all ready to go. Notice that I've cut it aggressively so it'll come out a lot at a time. That's kind of what you want. So what we'll do is we'll fill this crack here first. Don't be shy with this stuff. The more the better really.
Now what I do when I put it on, you want to go around the screw holes just a little bit. You don't want a lot inside, just enough to hold it in because it's mostly the outside and the screws that are going to be holding it on. Let me put a little bit down here too. And just a dab here and a dab here. Because if it ever cracks again, you want to be able to get it off. Make sure that's clean. Again, just go with our screwdriver. Give it a lift. Go from this side. I want to do a nice big bead all the way down continuously. You can always come back later with your finger and <clears throat> once it sets, just use your finger and just come back around, smooth it out, and then it'll smooth again. But that's a pretty good bead right there. And this is the back side that I, re that I did yesterday, and it's starting to firm up already. It's still a little soft, but it's it takes a while to dry. I've got it in my garage right now just to keep it warm. It's pretty cold outside. So, usually this stuff works better in the sun, but it'll cure here. I've got the heaters going, so. Looks much better. And again, when you're putting these screws in, don't over-tighten. That's part of the reason it cracks. But these do just, from the sun, they wear, they crack. Also on tent trailers, you want to make sure you caulk all the way across here, too, with that die core. Somebody did it right up to this point and then stopped, and I kept going along all the way across. So what you use on the sides of the trailer instead of that hard die core. You only want to use the die core on the roof. You use a ProFlex to go around areas like this. And that completes this video on how to change out corner caps on a tent trailer RV. Hope you found this video useful and uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you.